if I told you there was a supplement powder that not only hit a ton of your daily nutritional needs, but also promised to improve your energy, your focus, your gut health, your immunity, and your overall quality of life, would you take it? And what if I told you that powder cost almost $100? What do you think now? The product that makes all those great promises does exist. And yes, it is that expensive. And yes, I tried it. In fact, I tried it every day for 90 days just to see if the promises made by this powder actually lived up to reality. So what happened? Well, here's how 90 days of athletic greens changed my body. Hey guys, my name is Peter. I'm a plant-based nutrition coach here to teach you how to thrive on a plant-based lifestyle. And today I am going over my honest review of athletic greens and how it changed my body over the course of 90 days. Now, if you're interested in a plant-based lifestyle, but you want to get started the right way, check out my five-day plant-based boot camp. Every day for five days, I will send you a new challenge to make sure that you get started on the right foot so that you can have a plant-based diet that gives you the energy and physique and lifestyle you want. No junk food vegans here, just wholesome plant-based foods. If you want to get started right, go ahead, take the challenge. You can sign up at the link in the description. It's totally free. All right, so let's get started with my experience on Athletic Greens. So what is Athletic Greens? Greens, and in particular their product AG1. Athletic Greens is called by many of the people who promote it a nutritional insurance policy. It's a supplement that's not going to replace a nutritious whole food diet, but it can fill in a lot of gaps, especially because it's hard to hit every goal every day. The idea here is they combine 75 different plants in order to give you the most robust nutritional profile of any supplement out there. It's really made to be an all-in-one supplement. Now, according to the box, it includes absolutely absolutely no of a lot of things like GMOs, gluten, dairy, corn, eggs, peanuts, lactose. It's very allergen friendly. It's also vegan, vegetarian, and keto friendly as well. On the box here, it makes quite a few claims as well about your health. Like using this product can improve your focus, your immunity, your gut health, and your overall energy levels for the day. Now, to be honest, the nutritional profile on this is very robust. If we take a look here at Chronometer, you will see just how many vitamins and minerals and nutrients this covers. I mean, vitamin A, C, thiamine, riboflavin. Look at your vitamin B7 levels, vitamin B12 as well, which is super important on a plant-based lifestyle. And all of these nutrients come from whole plants. There's no artificial ingredients in here. It is totally clean and a really well-sourced supplement powder. And that is one of the reasons that a pack of this is $100 because there's so many whole plant foods in it and the nutritional profile is so powerful. It is really meant to replace most of the supplements that you may have in your cabinet. As you can see, a normal pack of this would be $99, but if you subscribe, it would be $79 per pack. And then the 30 travel pack option starts at $89. So they make a lot of big claims and they ask for a lot of money. Is it worth the hype? Does it actually do what it says it's going to do? Well, here's my experience. As you can see here, I poured a glass for this video. Now, when you do sign up, they send you a couple of things. They first send you this nice container here. It's glass with a glass scoop inside. You can see it's really nice. They also send you a neat shaker bottle that you can use with the Athletic Greens logo on it, but mine was left at my grandma's house, so I am now using this glass. But it works fine. I just pour it in and stir it up with a fork, and it works well. It mostly dissolves, even without shaking it. Now, the first thing you're probably wondering about is the taste. This was the thing I was worried about when I got it because a supplement like this with a great nutrition profile and 75 different plants doesn't necessarily mean those 75 different plants are going to taste well in combination together. But honestly, Athletic Greens tastes pretty good. I would consider it like a green drink with some extra pineapple flavor mixed in. It definitely tastes better with cold water than it does with warm. So I'd highly recommend chilling the water that you do end up putting it in because it does enhance the flavor. So we know it tastes pretty good, but what about these actual health claims? Well, let's start with energy levels. I will never forget the first time I took Athletic Greens. They recommend taking it on an empty stomach for better nutrient absorption. So I got the package, I got a scoop one morning, put it in some cold water, and I took my first sip. 
And let me tell you, it was like a shot of energy to the head. It was kind of a weird feeling. This is a very healthy drink and it felt very healthy. All of a sudden, I felt more energetic, a little more wired, kind of like, whoa, what did I just drink here? It was kind of a neat experience. But that energy level didn't just spike and go away. I have noticed while taking Athletic Greens that my energy levels are more sustained throughout the day. It's not this super jittery, energetic feeling that you'd get if you had a lot of caffeine, but I do feel more energetic when I have this, especially through the morning. Again, it doesn't make me feel superhuman, but it's to a point where I do notice a difference in my energy levels with and without Athletic Greens. Next up is recovery and performance. I personally feel that having Athletic Greens did help my recovery with my workouts, as well as my overall performance. Now, the performance can probably be attributed to those increased energy levels, but the recovery, I think, was just because the nutritional profile is so robust. It was filling in a lot of gaps that I may have had throughout the day in my nutrition. And so with that, it helped my body recover. Basically, I feel like my body was getting what it needed. And so I was less sore in general and for a shorter period of time. And so because I felt like I was recovering quicker, this then led to compounding improvements in my performance. Because I recovered quicker, I felt better sooner. So I was able to do more, more frequently, which led to greater gains in the gym and on the trail and on the wall. So overall, I feel this did help my performance in part due to the increased energy levels, but also it helped me recover quicker, which meant I could do more, more frequently. I don't necessarily think the drink itself was responsible for me like getting stronger, but I do think it helped my body recover to the point where I could get stronger quicker because I just felt better. One of the biggest ways I noticed this was when I was on my annual adventure trip with my friends. We do a lot of really strenuous hiking and we climb a lot of mountains and I made sure to have one of these every day. Now this had a lot of impacts, more of which I'll talk about later, but I felt really good at the end of the day. I was recovering pretty quickly. I didn't feel quite as sore as my friends did on this trip. And I do attribute that to this because I've been on those trips in the same type of shape without athletic greens. And I didn't recover quite as quickly on those trips, but I did on this one. And so I do actually attribute it to this because I had it this time and I hadn't had it in the past. So that was definitely the biggest difference that I noticed. Okay, the next claim is that athletic greens can improve improve your gut health, which let's be honest, is kind of hard to measure. As long as you're using the bathroom frequently, you're probably fine. But do you do that any more or less with Athletic Greens? I didn't go to the doctor and like get my gut bacteria measured. I don't even know if that's a thing. So you can take this with a grain of salt. But I was definitely more regular when drinking Athletic Greens. I felt like my digestion was really good and that I had a regular schedule. Again, this goes back to my adventure trip. If you've ever been back packing or camping for a long period of time, you know it's very easy to not eat very healthy and that can lead to some backups if we're being honest. This has happened to me plenty of times in the past, but again, with having my bottle of Athletic Greens in the morning, I actually noticed on this trip that my digestion was more regular throughout the trip. And I was eating pretty much the same things. This was like kind of the only difference. It's not a perfect study and it's just my personal experience, but in those extreme conditions where I normally have some issues, I didn't when I had this. Now, I don't know what that's going to mean for you and your everyday life, and I don't really want to know the details, so don't leave that in the comments. But in terms of the claim of improving gut health, I don't know how to measure that medically, and I didn't. But in terms of just my general observations, I did notice a slight improvement in my gut health overall, at least when it came to digestion and movement. Normally, I drink this way faster. It's kind of weird just like sipping it. <laughs> All right, the next claim made by Athletic Greens is that it will improve your immunity, which again is kind kind of hard to measure. That's a big claim. And unless you have like specific studies to back it up, it can be really hard to definitively say that. So again, this is my personal experience. Yours may be different. While taking Athletic Greens, I didn't get sick quite as often. I'm always susceptible to a cold now and again, but I found that I didn't get as many in the 90 days in particular that I was taking Athletic Greens every single day. In addition, at this point, there was COVID in the household and I didn't get it. Now, now, it's not that I can fully attribute that to Athletic Greens. Now, I also try to take care of my immunity in as many other ways as possible by eating a nutritious plant-based diet, staying active, getting enough sleep. But this was part of my regimen at the time and I was okay. Again, this is not a health claim in any way. This is just my own personal experience. I don't know where the claim comes from from Athletic Greens about improving immunity or what studies have been done in order to show that. So I wouldn't just go like licking things in stores and drink this and think you're okay. Still take care 
care of yourself in other ways. But I did notice maybe one or two less colds over a period of time than I would normally have when drinking this. And again, was that the Athletic Greens? I don't know, but it's just something that I noticed. All right, and the last impact I wanna talk about is just my general feelings. Now, general feelings aren't as sexy as talking about improved focus and memory and performance and recovery and gut health and immunity. But the whole reason I eat a whole food plant-based diet is because it just generally makes me feel good. And the whole reason I was interested in a scoop of this every day was because I just wanted to feel good. It's not something you can scientifically measure, but it's something we all intuitively know when we are feeling great and when we are feeling and crappy. So how did Athletic Greens actually just make me feel? Honestly, I had more energy. I had more focus. I felt more sustained throughout the day. I just felt good when I was taking this. From the time I took it in the morning throughout the rest of the day, I just kind of felt better than when I wasn't taking it. And that's a good thing. I mean, to me, that shows that it works because I could notice a difference with and without it throughout the day. The biggest impact though was when I was traveling. This has become a staple in my traveling routine. Whenever I was in store for a long car ride or a flight, I would make sure to bring one of the travel packs and I would take it before the flight or the car ride because we all know that when we're traveling, it's hard to get all of our nutritional bases covered. And this became my insurance policy, which honestly is a great phrase to use for the supplement. On those days, I definitely felt less sluggish. I just kind of felt better throughout the day. And I was less worried about not hitting all my nutritional goals throughout the day with the airport food and the car snacks, because I knew I at least got a lot of what I needed from this drink. And again, maybe it's just the placebo effect. I don't know, but if it makes me feel good, it makes me feel good. The reality is in my personal experience, I noticed that I felt generally a bit better when I was having AG1 every day as opposed to when I was not. And that feeling of better came from just more energy and just feeling more nutritionally sound. Now, if it's just a placebo effect where I took this and I said, ooh, this was healthy, I should feel good. And then I felt good, that's fine for me, right? As long as I feel that way, that's what I'm going for. Now, the biggest question of all that I'm sure you're wondering, is it worth it? And I Honestly, this depends. Listen, it is expensive. There is no getting around that. Even if you subscribe, $79 per month or per pack is a lot of money, especially for something that's not fully necessary. You can get all of the nutrients you need from a well-planned whole food plant-based diet. And so that means that you don't need athletic greens every day in order to be a healthy, nutritious person or to have a complete and robust nutritional profile. And again, if you're looking to do that and create that nutritional profile on a plant-based diet, make sure to join my boot camp in the link below. But even with all that said, I personally think that if you can afford it, Athletic Greens is worth the price. While it is expensive, there is no getting around the robust nutritional profile and the clean sourcing that goes into this product. And so I can understand why it is expensive because it's not cheap crap. It's really good, wholesome ingredients. And while it's not necessary for your nutrition, it is a great insurance policy. Let's say you're losing weight and you're restricting your calories. This could be a way to get more nutrients in your diet. Or maybe there are certain foods that you struggle to get every day, this could fill in those gaps. Or if you travel a lot and you know that you're not going to be eating the way you would hope, this is a great way to at least make sure you have a baseline sense of nutrition throughout the day. And so with that being said, I would actually recommend investing in the travel packs to start off. Whether you are not sure about taking Athletic Greens and you just want to try it, or you are interested but you can't afford the $80 a month. It's $89 for 30 travel packs and this pack has actually lasted me quite a while. So you can see I have quite a few left. If you get the travel packs, you can try it out for a few days and see how you feel. And if it's something you want to take every day and invest in, you can get the regular pack with the nice container and the scoop and you're good to go. To be perfectly honest, I actually don't take AG1 anymore because of budgetary reasons. I'm at a point right now where I just can't afford the $80 a month to take this. But I do keep these travel packs around. It helps keep me good throughout the day when I am traveling or if there's like like a sickness going around school, I'll take this for a couple days in a row, just in case the immunity thing actually does work. And to be honest, I don't think I'll ever not have this around the house, both for travel purposes and for that extra nutritional boost if I'm overworked or I'm tired or I'm stressed or there's just an illness going around and I wanna feel better throughout the day. So to sum up, Athletic Greens is a great, clean, 
plant-based, whole food-based supplement that I would definitely recommend taking if you can afford it. It's great for travel, it's great for performance, and it's great to just feel great. It really does make me feel good, and it may be the same for you. But that is my experience with Athletic Greens and how it changed my body in 90 days. I felt more energized, I felt more focused, I was more regular, and I didn't get sick quite as often. Overall, I just felt good. And so what about you? What was your experience with Athletic Greens? or what questions do you have about it? Let me know down in the comments. And if you'd like to learn how to thrive on a plant-based diet so you can hit all of your goals nutritionally, make sure to subscribe to my channel and join my five-day plant-based boot camp so you can get started on a whole food plant-based diet the right way starting from day one. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your time and attention and we'll talk soon. So good.